Hey guys, Metal Viking 82 here. Back to show off something that I received uh, earlier this week. Um, this was actually supposed to be released uh, by the 11th. It's the version of an album that's actually been out since the 4th. And uh, this particular version was supposed to come out on the 11th. But unfortunately, even though I pre-ordered it, it did not arrive until earlier in the week. So, uh, you know, whatever. It's here. I'm glad to finally have it. And uh, this is an album that is getting a lot of mixed press here. There are some that are really liking it, such as myself. And then there are those that are absolutely hating it or that are saying they're disappointed with it. You know, we've waited this long to get a new album. This is what we get. This is not what I expected, blah, blah, blah. But with this band, you know, this is to be expected. So what am I talking about? This is the latest offering from the band Dimu Borgir, entitled Eonian. And as you can see, I got the box edition, the limited box edition, put out through a Nuclear Blast. And uh, I figured I would just show off the contents of this because there's some uh, really cool stuff in here. Of course, you get the uh, digipack of the album. Again, same artwork as the you know giant box. There's the disc, and I really love this uh, picture here, and it uh, continues behind the tray. Kind of reminds me of um, the cover for the uh, Wolngraven uh, album, and uh, you know, I've actually listened to this about six or eight times now, and I just got to say, I I enjoy this. I really do. Um, it's Demi Borgir doing what Demi Borgir does. Um, we're not going to get another Enthroned Darkness Triumph, and we're not going to get another, you know, For All Tid or Storm Blast. This is, you know, how Demi Borgir in 2018 is going to sound, and this is what they want to play. More power to them. I personally enjoy it. I know a lot of people are saying, you know, you know what the fuck is this? Is this, you know, Nightwish with some really shitty Abbott-style vocals on top? Or, you know, I'm so disappointed. This is not a dark. This is not heavy at all. It's like... You know, you're not going to please everybody, but, you know, I enjoy it. Is it their best album to date? No. But uh, I enjoy it for what it is. And uh, one big disappointment I had is that, I mean, it did come with this really cool little poster. It has, like, their other albums lined up along the bottom. But uh, they announced on Facebook, right around the time that I actually pre-ordered this, that... Um, they had a limited supply of signed posters that were going to go in with the orders that uh, ordered the box set or the vinyl or whatever. And unfortunately, mine did not get signed, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. But uh, this box does come with a massive artwork poster. And then on the other side, you have the three main men behind the band, Galder, Selenos, and... Shagraf. Uh, whether I hang this poster or not is up for debate. I'm probably just going to hang the smaller one. And of course, you know, got the little hype sticker I kept off the front of it. Also comes with a little bonus disc with uh, demos from the album, which I haven't had a chance to listen to yet, but that's pretty cool. And it also comes with the 2LP vinyl edition of the album, which I really love the uh, kind of shimmer that this uh, cover gives off. And it's one of those giant LP sleeves. And uh, comes with a absolutely massive booklet. Of course, has all the lyrics. pictures and artwork and stuff like that in it so very cool and as I said this is a 2 LP set both are a nice kind of semi clear almost milky white vinyl I guess you can say has a really interesting little center labels there but yeah, I'm I'm pleased with this uh, edition of the album. Um, 
you know, I was hoping to get the autograph poster with mine. I didn't, but I am still very happy to own this. Uh, as I said, there's a lot of people that are not liking this album, but with Demi Board Gear, there's always going to be people that hate everything that this band does. And, you know, even fans of the band, like I said, are disappointed with it. They just, you know, it didn't meet their expectations. But when you go into it wanting, like I said, another Storm Blast or another For All Tid, you're going to get disappointed because that's not what we're going to be getting anytime soon. This is Demi Board Gear now. This is the sound they've worked towards. You know, this is the sound they want. I personally enjoy the album. So, yeah. Just figured I would uh, show off what comes in this particular edition of the album. I'm very excited, as I said, to have this in my collection. So, that is going to do it. I got a lot to get done. I was planning on doing a uh, update video here. But, uh, I'm probably not going to get to that here soon. So, look for a multi-part update hopefully in the near future uh, like i said my birthday is actually coming up here soon so i'll probably be getting some more stuff so yeah stick around for that and until then thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing and until next time stay brutal